recent advances in our understanding of the biology of leukemia and other blood cancers has led to the development of a whole range of new and potentially very effective drug therapies. So we're now in a position with a range of new therapies where there is an onus to test these new drugs as safely and as quickly as possible. And what we've done in Birmingham since 2006 through the development of the Centre for Clinical Hematology is identify a early phase trial centre that co-locates patients from one of the largest catchment areas in Europe, clinicians and scientists so that we've been able over this period to trial up to 25 new drug therapies. And at the same time, we've demonstrated that this is a very effective way of job creation and have identified that more than 130 new jobs in the health and biopharmaceutical centre have been generated by this initiative. So if this demonstrates real strategic strengths that Birmingham has in clinical trialling and a great opportunity for scaling these up with even greater economic benefits. So although the development of new drugs was initially particularly well demonstrated in, in leukaemia and other cancers, it's also clear that our advances in understanding of the biology of other diseases, such as Parkinson's disease or, or hypertension, is also going to lead to very important new biologically based therapies. And we, we believe there's going to be a similar importance and imperative in providing an appropriate clinical trials infrastructure and network to assess therapies in non-malignant disease as well. So our aim as we go forward is to create an institute of translational medicine that's going to cover the whole range of human disease, prioritising the safe and rapid assessment of new therapies in both cancers and other diseases.